hope you is a sad excuse as a commissioner. Like, really? This whole entire you been obsessed with seeing me. This whole entire time you been wanting to arrest that woman, not get that woman bail, hold that woman against her will like you did Ben. Like, you is a sad excuse as a commissioner, and I hope Abe don't have your head for this shit. Like, so to find out, and it didn't make sense then, not make perfect sense. Remember, Sammy was drugged. Sammy couldn't even watch hold the gun still better than talking about shooting John or Marlena. And Sammy wouldn't have shot that gun at that way. And she probably would have shot, shot John, Marlena, and anybody else that was sitting up there on that way. And even if Sammy would have shot Marlena, y'all would have fucking known. Because Sammy would have had that reaction where her heart just dropped down in her stomach. Sammy ain't even much give me enough dramatic to prove that she shot her mama like. And that fact that y'all ran along with them, didn't have the nerves, didn't have the um, audacity or the common sense to fingerprint that woman to make sure she shot the gun or somebody else shot the gun because y'all know crazy Krista was there and ain't no telling who else might have been there with her hiding in the cut or whatever like Marlene said. That gun came from a longer distance than where Sammy was standing because Sammy was standing about right here and right here by this computer. And Simon would have shot Marlena, you would have known, because you would have shot the explosion before the bullet came out the gun. Like, hope, I really hope Abe don't have your head. I really don't, because you have done, I mean, really, you done done a fucked up job. You done blow the being case. Chris and still run around here crazy and loose as ever. You arrested Sammy. She ain't commit no crime. You arrested Ben over some false planted evidence. He had to, you had to let him go like, Hope, have you done anything right as commissioner yet? I'm confused. Have you done anything as you, as your acting role of commissioner, have you done anything right? By the book, by the law. Have you done anything right or done your due diligence as a damn commissioner? So you mean to tell me the police station is a bunch of idiots, including Eli ass too, calling himself arresting Sammy on EJ or EJ. Lord, arresting, arresting Sammy on um, the pervert orders. He told on Sammy for got that old oh, way that I committed a crime too. I've been holding Kristen in here, letting her stay in the tunnels, but I'm going to tell on Sammy because she broke in my house twice, won't leave me alone. She won't stop harassing Kristen or me, so let me tell on her. That alone right there should have told you, why is the pervert calling me? Why is he telling me about Sammy? Why is he snitching? Does the mirrors don't snitch? Like, that should have that should have made the hair on the back of your neck stand up right there, Eli. Like, come on now. You really went down there to the hospital calling yourself trying to arrest Sammy. Now you look like a damn fool. Time about to violate the terms of her, her bail agreement. Okay, whatever, Eli. You, Hope, Rafe, I hope they clean the whole slow Salem PD out because all of all of y'all need to be gutted out, including Hope. Hope need to be booted out, matter of fact, because the horrible job she doing, hell, I prefer back to Roman as to come back shit. At least he old. At least he did cover up for a few people. But at least he was better than what Hope giving us. Hope giving us Corrupt cops. I'll do anything to get my case. Hell, are you in trash? Is you in trash, sisters? Cause you kind of acting like her now. Don't care if they innocent or not. You want them arrested. You want that money for arresting them. Is you in trash related? Cause you sure is acting like her right along now. I hope like. You is doing a horrible job as commissioner, and I kind of want to say I hope Abe have mercy on you, but not really, because you can't get no more worse than what you're doing now, because hope if you like it, I love it, I guess, and it's obvious how the gun, Roman had the gun handed over to John. Then Marlena put two and two together and said, this pulled it out, saying that's the gun Kristen had. That's the gun she tossed to Sammy. 
when Eli went to test the gun, I'm in here trying to get this, um, trying to do these two slugs together. They're two different calibers. They don't match. Now, why the hell is I'm in here? I'm wasting my time in here. They don't match. All I had to do was just look at them hard, and I can tell they didn't match. So that means all these damn police resources, y'all, um, all these police resources, y'all messed up running behind, running behind Sammy. Running behind Sammy, running behind um who else? Running behind Ben, fucking and harassing Ben. All no resources y'all wasted up on Sammy and Ben. Y'all should have been putting the rest of them on the um on the Christian, or better yet, leave Sammy and Ben alone and go focus on Christian 100%. I think crime can wait in Salem. Or better yet, I think she should be the top of your list. Like Roman said, the police ain't doing something, so somebody got to go get her. Like I said, I hope Brady went dumb enough to, um... Ashley go away with nutbag. I really hope he's setting her up to get her locked up. Maybe she get a dose of jail or the crazy house. No, the Chris is never gonna learn they lock her ass up in the crazy house. She need to go to jail. Better yet, prison for a year or so. And I promise you, when Kristen get out, she'll be Bible thumping and reading new verses. And I guarantee you she'll change. That's Kristen problem right there. Y'all keep on locking her ass up in the psych ward. What the fuck y'all need to do is give her a few months stay there and I promise you Kristen won't fuck with nobody else she'll drop John, she'll leave Marlene alone, she'll even flee Brady and Eric alone and she'll go find her somebody else to play with. I promise you if y'all give Kristen a, a, um, a month, a week or Better get a whole year in prison. I guarantee you when she get out her ass when fuck with nobody else and she'll learn to sit down and act like a normal citizen. Um somebody else I wanted to Oh God. Eric Um Eric why you on your quest looking for Nicole? What the fuck you need to be worrying about? Like Chloe said, okay, Jennifer told you all this. She knew exactly it was going to be over, over between y'all. Um, How is Jennifer feeling? Do you know how she feeling? Is she still, is, do she still think there's hope between you and her? Like, do you even give a fuck about Jennifer and her feelings at the moment? Or are you too worried or are, or are you too worried about Nicole at the moment? And what and where Nicole is saying, can you find her? Saying, um, can y'all um begin um start off where y'all left off at? Like Chloe made a good point today, Eric, saying that okay, you right here running around here looking for Nicole. You got to talk to Nicole. You got to tell her how you know this and Brady and his bit ass and him being bit and his antics, meaning um, blackmailing Nicole with Desmo's murder and all that and how you figure it out and how Jennifer told you and blah, yada, yada, yada. You had once, well, not even much once. You have never considered Jennifer feelings and how that woman feeling right now. That woman probably a nervous damn wreck knowing and realizing it over. You too busy around here worrying about Nicole and don't give a fuck what Jennifer going through. And I'm glad Chloe broke and I'm glad Chloe brung up that point and telling you what about Jennifer? Is she doing all right? Um, does she realize it's over? Do you even realize it's over between y'all? Like, she made a good point. Maggie gonna end up helping, as y'all saw. Maggie finna tell, um, Eric way, um, Nicole is. Victor had to come clean again today. What else is new with him and Maggie? He had to come clean with the whole Brady, and he knew what and he and he knew everything that was going on. How he forced Nicole out of town. How Megas up there trying to help Eric, but she don't want to blow the confidence with Nicole, cause Nicole giving her updates on Holly and what Holly going through, and is she party trained and all this and that. So. 
She don't want to ruin that confidence by telling Eric where the hell she is. So Victor had to come clean and tell her he knew all about this. He was there. Um, what else he said? Basically, he told her everything, meaning what deal with, um, Meaning he told, um, damn, I ain't lost my damn train of thought. Basic, basically, he told her everything, what Brady did, how Brady did it, how he knew from the beginning to the end. I don't know if he told about the recording in the safe, though, but that's long gone. So it, ain't nobody got to worry about that besides them, the no good ass song. Um... Oh, and he want everybody gone out of his house. Well, Victor, I don't know if you notice or not, though, but buddy, I'm sorry. You might be tired of Susan. Susan might annoy you. Susan might get on your nerves. It's a shame you got to leave your house just to get peace and quiet. Like I said, and I'm going to say it again. Susan isn't going anywhere, and you can't make her leave. Good luck trying to make Superman kick Susan out, because that's not going to happen. That's certainly good in with, 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 um, with Will. So you think for one second, Will fit to kick Susan out to kick Susan out for you just so you can get your peace and freedom back from her voice or whatever or her antics. Good luck trying that, buddy. Cause that's um Superman good in with, with um that's Superman good his good in or goods when it comes to Will and Superman letting her stay there, meaning Will gonna come over to see her, meaning he get to spend time with Will on the down low, and won't nobody suspect the thing, cause Susan's still there, so if you think Susan going in the way, you better count your stars, or you better build an addition to that big old mausoleum you call the house then, or better yet, go stay in your hotel room or something, cause Susan ain't going nowhere, and over Superman dead body, so good luck trying to get Susan now, maybe when they get back together, they'll move her in or whatever, but Victor cut it out, Super, I mean um, Susan ain't going nowhere and Gabby damn show ain't going nowhere neither, so you can count your lucky stars on that one, you done got two new, um you done got two new move in, and Chad I think he's staying there too Oh, he's still recovering from the Abigail bullshit and that pregnancy and that trip and I, the Gabby with the wild bullshit. He's still going through that, so of course he there for temporary. But Victor, Gabby ain't going nowhere, and Susan ain't going nowhere. God damn it, um, that's the mother of your grandchild, so. I bet you Gabby won't be leaving the say, I mean, leaving Casa, um, Castle down. Lord almost said Castle down. I bet that she won't be leaving Castle um, Kiriakis anytime soon. We'd we'll like to see you push Gabby out your house and watch, what, and watch what Superman tell your ass when you attempt to try. So, your little peace and quiet, you better go up in your room and say, um, get your um room soundproof or something, because, buddy, you're going to deal with a house full of people that you don't want in your house, and they ain't going nowhere, because Superman moving them in left and right, and you might as well enjoy it and sit back and whatever else you're going to do with it, because and Gabby in this dumbass plan. Like Gabby. Okay, I see what you're doing. You trying to make get you trying to try to you trying to make Chad see that Gabby with a wide bag. You trying to convince him that um Gabby D I D back and that Gabby, I give up. Like, this plan is so dumb and stupid. Like, but you want to go through all this, and you can't even watch hide the damn black wig right under the bed, under the foot of the bed, really, Gabby. Now, you know it, and I know it, Dad. The real, well, not the real Gabby with a Y. Gabby with a Y hid her shit way better than that. You mean to tell me that Gab um, Abigail losing her goddamn mind that bad, Dad? She just tossed the wig on the foot of the bed. All y'all do is reach your hand under the bed and they go to black. Really? 
Now you know it and I know it when Gabby Weather Why was um alive and kicking, you had the good luck trying to find her wig or catch her um doing her little antics. So you mean to tell me it's that easy and getting um Abigail losing her mind that damn bad then she just left the Whatever, Gabby. Whatever help you feel good. And Chad, you an idiot for believing anything Gabby's saying. And you notice how she like to throw in Stephen in your face every time. Oh, Stephen said this. Oh, Stephen said that. Oh, he said the DIDs are bad. Oh, she called Stephen. Well, she texted Stephen. Stephen said she losing her mind and losing her time again. Like Chad said, what the hell are you doing around Stephen? You ain't have enough the last time. You want it more. Like, even Chad don't understand why you hang around the pervert. Like I said, Gabby, go to court or something and get your damn cup in the bag. The fact that you under him talking about some yo way in, you bring the figures, he got no control over your company and all that like. Just give up that goddamn company and find you something else to do. Better yet, restart your company and with another name or something, because... I been work behind nobody that was involved in me going to jail, well, going to prison, had me locked up, had me getting my ass whooped in prison, had women harassing me in prison. I was about to get out. I got beat up almost in a coma, got my ass stumped. And you think I hang around that same person was in partial part of, um, that was, um, part of the responsibility responsibility of me getting arrested. You think I'll be sitting up there smiling in his face, talking to him, having conversations with him. I don't want to be nowhere around that pervert, but it seems like you like to be around him, and that either show me that you like him some way, or you care about him enough, or you really want this revenge shit, thinking it's going to hurt him, and like I said, like they said, when it comes to revenge, it might make you happy at the end, and it might not make you happy at the end. Like I said, you doing all this, trying to make them see that Gabby with the wires back, and Gabby D.I.D. back, all in the hopes of you spilling the tea on the paternity results. Stephen not knowing well, Stephen think that's his child. You gonna tell him later on down the road that he is not the father, that that's Chad's child. Like he ain't gonna try to hide that or try to still say it's his child after that man they got. Like, Gabby, how the hell do you know you gonna get your happiness at the end of this? Cause revenge, because revenge is to go one or two ways. Sometimes it goes good for you and sometimes it don't end good for you. So how the hell do you know which, which um, part of the apple you gonna get? Like I said, it don't make no sense. And Abigail, if you don't stop telling the pervert your shit, I'm gonna punch you in your head. This is the same reason how your ass got caught up last time when Gabby with the wine Dr. Lori came out. You confiding in this man, knowing damn well he don't give two fucks about you, knowing damn well when Gabby with the wine did come out, he ain't try to give you no hell. What he did, kept the shit secret, make sure it stayed a secret, used it to his advantage, took advantage for you, fell in love with one of your damn personalities, and then end up raping your ass. Now, why would you be telling this man your business again? Gabby, I think you really do like the pervert. Because ain't no way no hell I'm going to be telling no man that I can't stand that I hate. Every time he says something smart, I want to knock the shit out of him. And you sitting up here telling this man that you losing time. The test was for JJ, but somehow I got JJ D mixed up and Stephen D mixed up and tested you saying I needed you. So he took this as a sign saying Gabby, um, Gabby with a Y tested your phone and not you. And she want to see me, not you like Gabby. I, don't, I mean, Gabby, Abigail, I don't understand why you telling him all your goddamn business again. And if you think for one second he going to help you out in any way, shape or form cause you you pregnant and having his so-called supposed to be baby, you got another thing fucking coming. Even if this even if this was true, 
and you was pregnant with his child, and Gabby did, Gabby with a Y did come out. I bet, I guarantee you, he gonna be the same prick he was the last time when Gabby with a Y came out and hid it from Chad. Hid it from Chad. Didn't let Chad know. Chad didn't have enough common sense to put, put um to put two and two together and realize, oh wait, my wife really is sick, or there's something really is wrong with my wife, and the fact that you hiding this from Chad, I can't with you, Abigail. I cannot and I will not. This the man you so-called want back and want to make it work with, but you hide secrets from him. And you see he ain't too smart enough to catch on to realize that you sick of something going wrong with you. Gabby had to give it to him. Um, Gabby had to tell him that you may or may not be sick because your ass right here still hiding. It. I can't. I cannot and I will. Now, I am so sick of this damn plan. And good luck to you, Gabby, and your little plan. I hope you get what you want. I hope you don't get what you did. And I hope you don't end up in jail again because you know it's only a matter of time for your ass get caught. Or some evidence hit, hit um, the police. Or better yet, trash her lap. And you know she's going to try to arrest your dumb ass again. So you better be careful with this plan and hope your ass don't get arrested again. You barely made it out of prison this time. I hope this time they don't take you out in the body bag. In a way, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.